particularly now, Honorable Minister of Niger Delta, I, we are, you, you spoke very well, yes. and I'm sure you are very happy that we are keyed well into the renewed agenda of Mr. President. And let me come to our chief host, the managing director, chief executive of the NDDC, my brother Sam Obugu, together with the chairman of the NDDC board, alongside other executive members and board members. Congratulations to you all for being the first board in NDDC since year 2000 to remain united, remain focused, and commissioning projects that benefit the people of Niger Delta. <laughs> Mr. President has asked me to extend his appreciation to you that under one year in office, we have been able to connect five local governments in Ondo State to the national grid by the commissioning of the substation at the Okutipupa in Ondo State. That substation is going to save over 64 communities. And I can tell you that we have brought light to the people. You are now touching the Niger Delta. My colleagues who came with me from Abuja, I told them that this is Niger Delta. Look at the swamp forest all around you. Look at the swampy nature of the soil. Look at the oil on the ground. This is Niger Delta. Niger Delta is not the city. It will take you five times the cost of one kilometer of road that you do in Abuja to do the same in Niger Delta. Where you are standing is sand field to enable us to stand here. Am I right? Even in Tiki? In Tiki? Yeah. 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 So let me, yes. So, MD of NDDC and your team, the chairman of the board of NDDC, and all the, I would say, all the oppressors of the NDDC, this is the first time that NDDC is impacting on the lives of the people directly. When I was the minister of Niger Delta, we were able to complete your 13th story building in Portacourt, your headquarters. That headquarters was started in 1994 by Chief A.K. Hulsford under the days of Ampadek, but it was abandoned. And when I became the minister, I said no, that I must leave a sign behind. Because even when God sent his son to the war, he sent the star to go with that son. In order to signal that the, the, the Redeemer had been born to the war. So I don't believe... So today, Managing Director of NDDC, you are showing direction, you are showing focus. I must say that Mr. President is very, very excited because you have done well. You commissioned a road in, Potak in uh, Bayasa, 27 kilometers with seven bridges. Within this first year of President Paul Ahmed Tunibu's administration, the President is happy about that. You have commissioned many other projects, and today you have brought us here to Ibn. People wouldn't understand the significance of what we are doing here. The entire Senate was sitting today. We sat up to, is it 3 o'clock this afternoon? And we took monumental decisions that will move this country forward. But thereafter, we ran to the airport, and we said we must join you and honor you, and honor the Minister of Niger Delta. The reason we are doing that is because, for me, you roll out the things you are going to do for the youth. You roll out the things you are going to do for the women. You are undertaking even health infrastructure. You are doing the free medical health and all sorts. But I can tell you, you have given life to these communities. Today, the people of Ibn have another access road to civilization. Before you can only access this area, through the Eked Esreked Road. Am I right? Yes. But today you have given them a road that they can access East Nogolo, Andoni, Potakot, and other places.
then the ground is full of nothing but crude oil. So they cannot plant anything. Look around you, you will not see any farm that is flourishing. That means the people need empowerment. That means they need empowerment. So it is important that as you look at physical infrastructure, also look at stomach infrastructure for the people of this area. My assurance, my assurance to the youth of this area is that the current administration will continue to work not just through the NDDC, but through various ministries to ensure that you are empowered. The student loan scheme signed by Mr. President will help you now to move from secondary school straight to university, even if you don't have parents. As it is happening here, in Aqua even said, the same thing is happening all over Nigeria. Just yesterday, the people of Ibn are going to benefit from the coastal road that was flanked up by the president in Lagos. 700 kilometers will pass through your, your coastal line, so you can have another access to Potakon. I thought somebody would clap for the president. And the president has directed that that coastal road should, should also be started both in cross River and Aquaibum simultaneously as it's starting in Lagos. So better times are coming. I know that the times are difficult. Very soon, the issue of uh, minimum wage will be over. The women who are empowered in my time. And remember, as your governor, in fact, I don't want to say what I used to do. But, uh, uh, MD, 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 we had, uh, uh, you see why they are happy. We had what we call Women in Agriculture Development Program. They don't need, they don't need loan, they need grants. That was called WADE. And they also need improved seedling, so that where they are able to find small land to, to put, put on the ground and try to plant something, that thing will grow to feed their families. And then they also need empowerment, even deep freezer, because they are also fisher women. Because sometimes when they come back, some the fish will die in their hands, and the fish will start to rot away, and then the family will remain hungry. So when you come in with small generators, small deep freezers, for this community, you are empowering them in a very a big way. So think of cooperatives that can enable them to have something in terms of uh, major, major. Uh, uh, how, how do I put it? Not yacht, at least fishing vessels in cooperative manner that can help them. So I don't want to speak much, but to assure the people of Ibno and Akwaibom, and also assure the governor of Akwaibom said that we are not deceivers. We will support you to succeed since you are poised. So, Governor Maina, we will not deceive you. We will support you to succeed. The people of Ibn pray for the government. Pray for Asimaji Abol Ahmed Tunibu. Pray for the, the NDDC. Pray for Sam Ogbogu and his group. Pray for the Minister of Niger Delta. And it shall be well with all of us. On this note, on behalf of Mr. President, President Abol Ahmed Tunibu, a man who knows how to do it, the man with experience who had done it before in Lagos, and turn Lagos into a mega city, the man who is going to empower your lives through the NDDC and through other uh, arms of government, I want to now move to go towards that place before sun, uh, the, the, the sun goes, before sunset. I want to look at that bridge. I want to drive through that bridge. I can't wait to drive through that bridge. I can't wait to drive through that bridge. Over 19 years of abandonment, but God has visited us today. On that note, I now move there to say that I'm commissioning that bridge. 600 meters of that bridge in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. For the benefit of what? Mankind. And to the glory of God. Amen.